In this video, I'm going to show you how to select cases and run a frequency distribution. So the data we have here is from the Cromp text, how to use SPSS. And what I'm going to show you how to do is available to you in chapters one and chapter two. I'm using the data from the practice da data set two that's located in the appendices of the Cromp text. So in this case, we have five variables the salary for each individual, their years of service, their gender, what job class classification they are, and their educational level. And if we click on the variable view tab in the lower left hand corner, we can see the variable view where we have all of our five variables, the variable labels, the value labels for our nominal level variables, and the level of measurement. So let's say that I wanted to calculate the average years of service just for the men. To do that, I'm going to need to use the select cases function to write a conditional statement so that any analysis done will only be done on the males. To do that, I'm going to go to data. I'm going to go to select cases and that'll bring up the select cases dialog box. Right now, all cases is selected. What that means is that any analysis I do is going to be conducted on all 12 records. To write that conditional statement, I'm going to click on if condition is satisfied and then choose if. That will bring up the select cases if dialog box. I'm going to choose gender and move that over to this box using the arrow. And so what I need to do is write a conditional statement. I need to tell SPSS if they are men, then select those cases. So in this case, I'm going to say if sex equals one. Now, if you forget how you coded your data, you can right click on that information and bring up the variable information, which will show you all the information about that variable. So now the conditional statement is select cases if sex equals one. I'll click on continue and then I'm going to filter out the unselected cases. I don't want to delete them and then I'll click on OK. It's going to write that command to the output viewer. Remember this log is kind of a diary of what you did. So I asked it to compute a filter where sex equals one. And if we go back to our data file you'll see that only the cases that are men are selected. There's a slash through all the records that are female, and then it puts in this junk variable telling us temporarily which cases are selected and which cases are not selected. Remember, we never do an analysis on this junk variable. So now any analysis I do from here on out will only be done on the men. Remember, I want to calculate the average years of service for the men. I've selected just the men, so now I can compute the sample mean to get a value for the average number of years of service for the men. To do that, I'll go to Analyze, choose Descriptive Statistics, and then choose Descriptives. All of the variables in my data file are on the left-hand side. I want to calculate the sample mean for years of service. So I'll choose Years of Service, and I'll move it over to the Variables box. Notice you could calculate the mean or any other measure of standard devi deviation or central tendency for more than one variable at a time. I'll choose options and I only want to choose the mean. So I'm going to choose standard deviation, minimum and maximum and turn them off. I'll click on continue and then choose OK. It'll write that command to the output file. And you can see that there are six men in our data file and the average years of service is 9.33. Of course, I could change this text box and I could put average years of service for a men only. This just lets me stay organized. Now let's say that I wanted to um, get a frequency distribution to know how many and what percentage of respondents are in each classified occupational category. So I want to know how many are, are technical, how many are professional, how many are clerical, and what percent of the sample are in each classification. To do that, I would need to compute a frequency distribution. Right now, any analysis I do is only going to be done on the men. So what I need to do is go back and select all cases. To do that, I'll go to data, 
I'll go down to select cases and I'll choose all cases. Then I'll click on OK. Notice it's going to write that command to the output file. If I go back to my data file, you'll see there are no slashes through any of the records. What that means is all of the cases have been selected. Notice that this junk variable is still there from our last select cases function. I can highlight that and clear it if I want, or I can just leave it in there. So now any analysis I do will be done on all the cases. To get that frequency distribution for job classification, I'll go to Analyze, I'll go to Descriptive Statistics, and I'll choose Frequencies. That'll bring up the Frequencies dialog box. Again, all of the variables in my data file are along the left-hand side. I need to specify which variable I want to run the frequency distribution on. So again, I want to know how many and what percent of the sample are in each job classification. To do that, I'll click on Job Classification and move that over to the Variables box. And then I'll click on OK. So if we scroll down, we can see the Job Classification dialog box here. And we can see that four are in a clerical position, which represents 33.3% of the sample. Three of them are in the technical classification, and five of them are in the professional classification, which represents 41.7% of the sample. Notice that this percent will include any percent that's due to missing cases. Because we don't have any missing data, the percent and valid percent are the same. But you want to interpret the valid percent because the valid percent is going to exclude any of the cases that are missing. So always use the valid percent when you want to know the percentage. And of course, this is just the cumulative percent. So 58.3% of the sample is both clerical and technical, and 100% of the sample is clerical, technical, and professional. Let's say, for example, now I want to compute a frequency distribution for gender. I need to take the variable job classification and move it back. And now I can click on gender and move that over and run a frequency distribution for gender. I'll click on OK and you can see down here, here's the frequency distribution for gender. There are six males in our sample and six females in our sample. 50% of the sample is male and 50% of the sample is female. As always, if you have any questions, make sure that you stop by during office hours. Have a great day.